those of us who have been teaching from before the time of Google probably have quite a few Google documents or quite a few Microsoft documents rather that you want to be able to use with your students online. But if you're a Google school, that can help you or that can cause you to run into some issues. So the purpose of this video is to help you be able to easily transfer those documents into Google. So I have uploaded these into my Google Drive. You could just as easily open them in, so here's a different one, but open it in Google or in Microsoft and copy and paste it from there. But one of the things that I see people run into problems with this where they want to use on Canvas the Google Docs Cloud Assignment, which is one of the things that I love most about Canvas Assignments is the ability to bring in those other programs. But it's not going to work if you just take your Google Doc directly from Canvas or from your Google Drive. So, or rather your Microsoft document from Google Drive. So you can see here, this says it's a .docx. I can go to open with Google Docs and you'll see the problem in just a minute. I've got this blue box telling me that this is a Word document. So it's that Microsoft Word format. No matter what I do to this, I can't change it. Or if you can, you have to go and do some extra special stuff. So you could try and make a copy, that's not gonna work. I need to go to save as Google Docs, or you can copy and paste, whichever you prefer. But I need to get rid of that .docx extension. So just making a copy, I've seen a lot of people try and do, and that's not gonna fix it. You need to go to save as Google Docs. So now I've got a Google Doc version of it. You'll notice it has the same name, but whereas this one has the dot docx, this one has no such extension, which tells me it's now a Google document. So now I can use that. Now, the one caveat to that is sometimes when you've got a lot of formatting, your borders are not going to come over. If you had a lot of pictures, they don't always translate well. So here I had a map. If you've got something with a lot of formatting done to it, so you've got lots of text boxes, you've made it look really cute, um, you've done various formatting, that will not transfer well, in which case you are better off going the Google Slides route and making a picture out of this. So I've got another video linked below where you can see how to do that. But if it's just a basic worksheet, no, you're not gonna have your borders and things like that but it will bring the information over. And then you can put this into Canvas using the Google Docs Cloud Assignment and Assignments and through the external tool. And then your students can complete this and submit it to you.